Hey, what's up ladies and gents, this is Alifia and I'm here with another video. And in this video, I'm just going to show you how I do this, to me, basic everyday beat with some lashes, because I do have on lashes, but this basic everyday little beat, um, getting ready to go to dinner and then the movies. So I didn't want to do something that was just going all out. Well, you know, like I just want to kind of be like plain Jane with a little bit of mm -mm flair. So with that being said, if you would like to see how I achieve this look, then please continue to watch. All right, y'all, let's get it. So first of all, I, um, I've already moisturized my little ink lips because they're dry because this weather is getting very dry right now. And so the lips are getting dry as well. Plus my water intake could be better. I'm always talking about my water intake, but yes, it could be better. Well, as you can see, I've already done my eyebrows and now I am priming, priming, yeah, priming my eyelid with the ColourPop Concealer. This is what I've been using to prime my eyelids lately. I don't, I like this ring light, but I don't know how to adjust it to where it needs to be. I'm trying to get there. I mean, I need a little feedback. Y'all help me out. See, that might be too dark. I don't know, but we're going to see. I'm going to roll with it. I don't know. I'm going to upload it anyway. I don't care what, what it look like, even if it's crappy. Wow, I look so dark under my eyes today. Maybe I need a little bit more rest. These children are worrying me. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to be using, let's see, which pack do I want to use? Actually, I'm going to be using a combination of two palettes. This one is called Nightingale from Pretty Vulgar. I got this in a BoxyCharm box. And this one is called Midnight Masquerade from Pure Cosmetics. I got this one in a BoxyCharm box. I think I got this one in, this one in October's box. And this is what it looks like has that plastic shield on it and I got this one in my September box and this is what it looks like so this look is gonna be pretty 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 basic we're actually going out I guess you can say like for a date night movie night whatever you want to call it we are going to see Halloween and going to the movies to the movies we're going to eat and then we're going to see Halloween I actually am NOT a scary movie fan However, I can remember watching the Halloween series. I'm just taking this color, this brush of color, it's called Hide and Seek, taking this and rubbing it all over my lid. But I can remember going, um, not going, but my mom having us watch Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, this, that, and third, whatever they were called. And from what I've gathered from um, what Jamie Lee Curtis has said online, because I haven't really watched a lot of previews, but from what they've said, it's like, the way they tried to do this, the directors of this particular Halloween, is like almost erase all the other Halloweens and make it like the first one happened and then this one happened, taking away all the ones in between. So I know a lot of people are like, why did they call it Halloween and the first one is called Halloween? And that that that's kind of crazy. I was wondering it, wondering the same thing. But I think, um, I guess because all the Halloween twos or whatever, I mean, maybe, I guess they're calling the Halloween 40 years later. Um, even though they're saying 40 years later, but in the title, it's not Halloween 40 years later, if you get what I'm saying. So, I don't know. So, let's see where I'm going next. I'm just going to go with this color. I'm not showing y'all the colors, really. It's called Flip Out. This is actually not a tutorial. But I'm going to take this color called Flip Out. Just kind of go in my crease a little bit. Because, like I said, this is going to be just like basic as hell. Basic as hell look. I'm just putting a little color in the outer corner in the crease and yeah this is about to be like the most basic look in the world I don't even know why I'm recording this anyway um so I did do a um and and I'm gonna show that I'm gonna record that show y'all what I got but I did do a not did do but I did order some items from two pop two pop Two Face with their friends and family um, thing where there was the 30% off and I could really 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 like kick myself for what I put in my order now in my order I did purchase um, two um, what do you call those two um, concealers and I didn't purchase a foundation and I'm almost out of the butter pecan and I really want some more butter pecan and I don't know I wasn't thinking 
because at 30% off, even when Sephora does their 20% off, 30% off was much better. So I just got a brush of color, and this one is called Clutch. It's right here. Just putting a brush of color on that, um, on my lid space. Kind of focusing on the smokiness in the outer corner of the eye. And so this is so light, you almost can't even tell that there's color there. I think this, I don't know, I just, I don't want anything to be too out there, too wild or whatever. And so that is it. That is it right now for the eyes. I'm going to add a little liner or whatever, which I don't normally do, but I am going to add some liner. But right now I need to moisturize my face. And in the winter, winter time, I need to moisturize my face. In the summertime, moisturizing my face is not that big of a deal. So before I put my primer on, though, I am going to moisturize and let it sit a second while I do just a tad bit of mascara. And I'm going to put a little bit of mascara because I am going to put some falsies on today. I'm going to put the same falsies on that I had on the last time. All right. And I think that's good. So, and I do have a birthday haul coming up. I'm going to show you guys the things that I did get um, for my birthday, the things that I purchased for myself, as well as what they purchased me. Y'all already know um, I was able to go to the concert and all that good jazz. So, yeah, I got some other things, though. Not like big things, but some things that I needed. So, you know, it was cool. It's a really good birthday. I will say that it actually was the best birthday that I have had in a very long time because no one pretty, I mean, I guess when you get older, so I guess it really doesn't matter, but people really don't celebrate your birthday. I mean, it's like, it's just your birthday. It's another day. It's not that big of a deal. So it's not like people go all out for it if you're not a child, but as an adult, I mean, it's just another day. Y'all. Recently had to get a starter on my car, and um, see, I'm I'm like, I'm almost feel like I'm scraping from the bottom of the barrel because I'm pumping like to get that concealer out. So it's um, but I had to get a starter on my car, and um, yeah, that was just like, uh, had to get it on my Altima, not my Altima. On the Honda you all know that those of you that have been watching for a while that I have two vehicles and my Ultima I don't drive that much so I kind of I just not kind of I took the regular collision insurance off of it it still has the um what do you call it the comprehensive so you know you keep if you have a car that you're not gonna run you keep the co comprehensive on it just in case you know um, damage happens from some bad weather or if um, somebody were to steal it or something like that, it's it's covered. So that's why I keep the um, coverage on that one. So when the other one, when the starter went out, I wasn't able to drive it because it doesn't have insurance on it. So luckily, you know, I have my mom and I have babe who looked out for me when it came to transportation. So during the couple of days that my baby was down my little car my car and then a couple of days that she was down um i was able to get back and forth to work and do everything that i needed to do because if they weren't giving me their vehicles they were taking me to do what i had to do so you know it, it's great to have a support system that is gonna look out for you so yeah so that is what kind of happened with that so but yeah i'm good to go now I am back on the road again. So how do y'all like the cold weather? It's, a, it's about to get cold. We got this cold weather coming in. And I'm going to be honest, for me, I am not a cold weather person. Um, could be because of my anemia, but I'm just not down for the cold weather thing. But it's a part of life. It's something that we have to deal with. And it's going to come regardless to whether we want to come or not so something i have to deal with i left my um what do you call that my beauty blender on the counter in there because i had to wash i washed all my brushes and everything and um 
let me tell y'all so I have this tendency because I'm here and I'm at babe's house and so I have this ten tendency to um, and I have a lot of brushes so I have this tendency to be like well I don't have to wash my brushes because I'm going over here or I have another set that I could use but then I turn around all of my favorite brush brushes that I like all of them all of them were dirty so I had to wash I still had some more because I have some brushes that a friend of mine gave me one time and um, I could have went into the little pet bag and used some of those but you know I kind of just wanted to I kind of just would like to use the ones I like now when these get to the point where okay I need to switch out I'll use some more but I have some pretty good brushes and I never do I've never done a video on my brushes but if y'all want me to I will have no problem with that so but yeah so that's kind of how that goes so yeah I usually don't do my um what do you call that my concealer with the brush but it's okay doing it with the brush is all right there is this one particular brush that I do want that I see one of my um one of the people that I fo order it it's a it's a Morphe brush time kind of went out on me mm. turned it off okay. so yeah so then I go around kind of go around to keep from having I guess any lines of demarcation from the concealer and the foundation kind of wet the my um brush a little bit when I do the contour here because this um this Fenty this stuff is kind of it's it dries really really quick I do like it I think I would like a concealer better but I don't want to take it back so I'm going to use it until it's gone uh, even though I did purchase a concealer that I could use for a contour and y'all will see that because I think I'm going to put that video up before I put this video up. I think that's how I'm going to do it because, um, yeah, I think I just think that's how I'm going to do it. All right, now let me set all of this. Y'all already know what I'm using. Y'all know me and Laura Mercier. We kind of go way back, way back, way back. I'm going to use the same brush that I put this uh, concealer on with to add this because I usually use my beauty blender to put it on but like I said my beauty blender is not in here and then you know, I don't let that sit on long because I don't bake and all that kind of stuff anymore like I used to I think that it's um for me the baking I mean I need to set my under eye definitely because of the concealer but to me the baking um kind of looked made my eye look a little bit more drier so I stopped with the baking so I'm going to go and put my lashes on and then I'll be right back. Alright, I put my lashes Alright, I put the lashes on and while they dry I'm going to just kind of like go over my contour just to sharpen it up. So I'm going to put on my favorite, well, what's been my favorite blush for the last couple of weeks. It's time for me to change it out because I usually change my blush, blush out every two weeks. And I've been using my palettes or palette collection rather for a whole month because like I use Urban Decay. This month has been Urban Decay. The month before that was Anastasia. So I think for November it'll be Too Faced, which Too Faced probably shouldn't have been, wouldn't have been the best choice for November considering a lot of Too Faced colors are like spring and fall colors. And while... I'm not one of those people that stick to just certain colors during certain times of the year and all that kind of good jazz. I um, kind of, you know, want to go with the season just a little bit. And this is just some bronzer that I'm putting on with the same brush that I did that highlight with. Y'all, I hope this, I mean, this lighting, I'm just so confused. It looks like it's washing me out so bad. And I could be wrong. You all may be seeing something different from what I'm seeing, but I promise you all, it looks like it's washing me out. And I hope it's not. Alright, and so now let me highlight. Where is my... Hmm. 
Got my brush for my highlights. I should have this one. And I just realized I didn't finish the eyes. Let me finish the eyes. I want a color. I picked up black. I picked up black by mistake. I know I have a color eyeliner. I never did use this palette, so let me see. What color do I want to put on my bottom lash? Let's put let's put a little bit of this purple on there. I'm gonna put a little bit of this purple from here. Hmm, my bottom lash. Just to give me a little bit of color. Because that's what I wanted. I wanted some color. And now I can't find my colored pencil. I promise you, I think my daughter has gotten it. Um, I've noticed some of my makeup has been disappearing because I did tell her that when she turns 16, she can wear makeup. And she has been pretty antsy about it. So I think that she's picked up a few of my makeup items. So that's probably all the color that I'm gonna get. Let me set my face before I do my lashes and my mascara. That's that Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. I like that. All right, so now let me do my bottom lashes and put some mascara on the top lashes together. So I do that so that before spraying, set set my face before doing my mascara so that um, sometimes I do my mascara first. It just depends on which step. And with me doing the lashes and having to go and finish this off because Unless I have on lashes, I don't use to put mascara on my bottom lashes. I don't know why I do it when I have on lashes. Well, I, sometimes when I don't have on when I have on lashes, I don't do it. But um, it's just I don't know. It, it kind of brings it all together, I guess. Well, I guess this kind of wasn't too chitty chatty because I really didn't even talk about much. And. I don't really want a lip color so I'm just gonna add a little bit more of this to my lips all right I'm back and here's the finished look and as you can see I got on some pearl earrings just have on my basic uh oh I have to put on my watch my Apple watch I didn't put that on to have on my Fitbit but just my basic jewelry um, I didn't put a necklace on and a little thin skinny necklace that I had been wearing I broke that one so I have to get me another one just another everyday necklace and I need to put on my perfume. And tonight I'm wearing the Vince Camuto. Vince Camuto. Camuto, Camuto, whatever. Bella. And I'm just going to spray a little bit of this on. To basically try to get my last little bit of wearing out. I have on a black and white dress. This is actually a summer dress. And even though it's November, I'm trying to get all of my wear out of this little dress. Even though it's winter time, well fall, I'm trying to get all my wear out of this little dress because I won't be able to wear it again in a minute because it's going to be too cold for it. So anyway, so like I said, that's the finished look. And I did not, this hair probably has some little ridges in it because I had a little ponytail in it and I did not, you know, put the flat iron through it today. And I'm going to put the flat iron through it every day. So I just kind of like take the ponytail down, brush it and all that. This has been like the easiest easiest hairdo i mean that i've had in a while so i need to just go through and moisturize because it's been in now two weeks so i need to go through and try to figure out how to moisturize my scalp you know so i can moisturize my hair up under here not necessarily my scalp but my hair up under here and all that good jazz so with that being said i'm going to get out of here so that we can go ahead and get going and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one so until the next time in between time you ladies and gentlemen be safe and Oh yeah, be safe and comment, like, and subscribe before you go. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.